Hey, what's up? This is Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz. This is my weekly video blog called Bullheaded, a review of the Houston Texans news, as well as a preview of the upcoming game matchups. So this week, the Texans are going to be going on the road, taking on the Tennessee Titans, and what's still going to be a big game, <laughs> despite everything that's going on around it. Uh, but it's also, you know, made up for it with backstory. So I'll sort all of that mumbo jumbo I just gave you out. Uh, in just a few more minutes. Uh, first off, what I want to do is just give a quick recap of the game from uh, Sunday against the New York Jets. And so, <laughs> um, I mean, basically, um, it was a rough, rough game um, in more ways than one. Um, didn't have the greatest of starts. Uh, scoreless first half, and obviously the weather has something to do with that. Um, Texans being a really um, high-powered passing team, uh, really can't get nothing done uh, with the inclement weather, the rain, wind, all that stuff going on. And so usually that's a game that's suited for the run game, which we're not, we haven't really been our best at uh, this season. So obviously a very tough time um, for us in the uh in that game. Um, the other obvious rough time that we had um, was the injuries in this game as well. Um, Nico Collins, I think he got hurt um, some somewhere in this game. Um, CJ Stroud, he got hurt, got taken out of the fourth quarter um, due to a concussion. So he's currently still in concussion protocol right now. Um, Will Anderson, um, I think he left that game uh, with a high ankle sprain. So, the injuries, um, <clears throat> uh, just the one, that was, it was just, that's the one takeaway uh, from this game. Just the one, like, just bad, well, there's a lot of bad things, but that was, you know, the one uh, bad thing um, to really take the cake uh, for this game. You know what I'm saying? Just the injuries, because you know, there's no telling how long these guys are going to be out for it. And, you know, quite a few of them are already missing out um, for this Sunday's game. So. It's, yeah, it's really nothing else to uh, say about that game. Um, Texans got to focus their shift on it this week. So, now that I really brought up the injuries during that game, I could really just, <coughs> excuse me, I could really just focus on them um, right now. So, um, obviously with C.J. Stroud um, being out or being doubtful, uh, being injured or whatever you want to call it, um, so yeah, sorry. Yeah, so let me just get the full list of uh, injuries out right now for the injury report. So currently, uh, game status for out. Will Anderson's been ruled out. Um, Blake Cashman's been ruled out. Uh, Tavier Thomas, he's been ruled out. Uh, CJ Stroud, he's trending towards being ruled out. Um, but right now, they have him listed as doubtful. So he's in concussion protocol. He's been in there since Sunday, uh, since he left the game in the fourth quarter. Um, so I'm thinking they're trying to see if it's going to be like a last minute thing. Like they're just going to wait it out one more day before they officially like, uh, rule him back in. But, um, it looks like he's just, you know, being, he's just listed as doubtful, um, for right now. And so we'll see what happens with that. Um, a bright side, Nico Collins uh, and George Fent. Um, so Collins had the calf injury. Um, he's questionable. Uh, for this game, Fant, he's also um, questionable uh, for this game, so um, hopefully they'll be able to um, suit up uh, this Sunday, because we're definitely going to need it, um, but just to kind of um, recap over, like, all of these injuries, um, with Stroud, you know, it's already been announced um, that, you know, Davis Mills is likely going to be the starter um, in place of Stroud this Sunday, and so, you know, with those two, they're not that much different um, in skill set, and I'll talk about that in the game preview a little bit. Um, but I wouldn't expect the offense to be just completely, you know, different from what we've been doing um, as far as game plan wise, as far as strategy wise. So um, <clears throat> with Anderson out, um, I'm not sure who his backup is. I haven't really looked into that, but um, <coughs> <coughs> ooh, excuse me. Yeah, but with Anderson um, out. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, D'Amico will devise a way to like really just 
um, find different ways to get pressure onto the quarterback, um, especially a rookie quarterback um, that we're facing um, with the Titans, Will Levi's, uh, Levi's, or where we call. I was go with Levi's today. Um, so yeah, with the Titans uh, having a rookie quarterback, he's definitely going to find ways to uh, generate pressure um, and probably disguise a couple blitz and give him a couple um, looks uh, for that. Um, and with all these injuries, um, I kind of feel like it's hopefully it doesn't affect our play. It's going to affect our playoff race, um, depending on how how extensive these injuries go. Um, so, you know, I listed all the guys that are out, Cashman, uh, Anderson, Stroud, you know what I'm saying? All those guys that are out are going to be, or are, are going to be out. Um, and it's like, depending on how many games they miss, it really could affect, you know, the playoff race. Cause we don't have our full roster that's out here winning these games. Um, then what's the point? You know what I'm saying? And so with that said, you know, a lot of questions are probably going to come up um about whether or not to you know keep some guys in or just take some guys out you know what i'm saying so like the texans they're in the playoff race like they're literally at the top of the in the hunt <laughs> in the hunt graphic some uh <laughs> when they show it and so they're like probably you know what i'm saying a good mistake or two from jumping into the uh seven seed or six seed you know what i'm saying and even then they're like still kind of within reach of getting the division so there's not something that they just want to kind of blow off you know what i'm saying right away now if this is like you know maybe three four or five games out then maybe they would be like all right you know we we just want to see what these guys can do. And if they're hurt now, then, you know, we'll probably shut them down. But, you know what I'm saying, they really are so close. And, you know what I'm saying, if you're a rookie quarterback can lead you to the playoffs, you know, why not give them that chance to lead you to the playoffs? You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you'll do or make a deep playoff run uh, with this team, but at least get them there just to get a feel for it. And, you know what I'm saying, just see what he needs to do as far as, like, on how to prepare for him. So, yeah, that's definitely going to um, affect our playoff race um, as far as, like, you know, whether or not uh, we want to compete in it or just kind of take a step back from it and just let everybody, um, let the main pieces um, heal up. So, <clears throat> with that being said, we have... The Titans. <laughs> it's, it's the Titans game this week. Uh yes. Yeah, so first time we'll be playing the Tennessee Titans um for the season. And it's still gonna be a good one. So coming into this game, before the before everybody got hurt, this game had this game was hyped. In my mind, in my mind, I hyped this game up. Like I put it up there. Like this is gonna be a game. You know what I'm saying? So, number one, you know, this year, um, a lot of NFL teams have been doing the uh, throwback jerseys. And so, the Titans have been going with the uh, Love You Blue since they're, you know what I'm saying, their original Houston Oilers and all that stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, they've been going with that. And, you know, a lot of Houston fans for years have kind of been clamoring for uh, getting the rights back to those jerseys, that back to that color, back, uh, getting back that color scheme, because you know it's a it's the color scheme for a team that was in Houston for many years, obviously, and they moved to they'd only been in Tennessee for like twenty something years, and the fans in Tennessee don't know anything about you know the Oilers. They only they moved when they first moved to Tennessee. They were on only the Oilers for like a few years, and then. They just changed their name to the Titans. So they wanted nothing to do with that history. You know what I'm saying? So um, so that's the big hoopla with that. Um, another backstory, obviously, that would have been great. Two rookie quarterbacks battling out who's who have been impressive. Obviously, we know about C.J. Stroud. Um, Titans rookie quarterback Will Levis, he came in in the middle of the season uh, when their quarterbacks were hurt. Um, when the Titans quarterbacks was hurt, uh, Tannehill, I believe he went down, and then they just threw Levis in. Levis in. I should have researched his name, but okay. Uh, <coughs> Will Levis, they threw him in, and so you know, what I'm saying ever since, and no hate, but 
ever since he's been in there, he's been doing pretty all right. He was, he was impressive. Uh, his first game had four touchdowns. Uh, three of them went to DeAndre Hopkins. Um, kind of had like a little bit of a quiet season, but it seems to be picking things up uh, since Lev has been in the lineup, to be honest with you. And so, you know what I'm saying? Good, good chemistry with him and all that stuff. So, you know, we'll talk about that. But, um, but yeah, it would have been a huge battle um, between both um, rookie quarterbacks and all that. So, and on top of that, it's the Tennessee Titans. Like, we, we have been, like, we've been really fighting them like a real rivalry. And there's been some great games um, between both of these teams, especially over the last couple of years, despite the Texans being, like, way at the bottom and the Titans kind of, you know what I'm saying, being near the top and competing with uh, some of the better teams in this league. So now it's the latest in this chapter of, you know, two, I don't even know what you call this, Eskimo cities, never mind. You know what? Stop. <laughs> I'm going to leave that nickname and stuff alone. But uh, whatever you call this is what you call it. But, <clears throat> but yeah, we got both of these guys. Um, we got both, excuse me, we got both of these teams in here. And Titans, they're out of the playoffs. They're not looking to really do anything major. Um, they're just going to probably just play just to get Levis, Levis uh, some more playing time, some more experience. Um, Texans are actually in the playoff race, as I repeatedly mentioned. And so Texans, despite C.J. Stroud likely being out, um, Texans are going to still need this game. So here's three things the Texans can do to get a W this weekend. Uh, Number one, don't be afraid to use Mills. Do not be afraid to use Davis Mills. So Davis Mills, as I mentioned, probably in the intro or whatever, um, he has a similar skill set to C.J. Stroud. So they're both a pass-first quarterback. They can, you know what I'm saying, scramble uh, when they need to. Um, a lot of people have always bragged on, like, Davis Mills' athleticism, and I've never seen it. So I'm assuming, like, a lot of people that was tweeting that are probably reporters that were at practice and seen it or whatever. But me personally, I've never seen anything to say Davis Mills was just athletic. You know, saying like that, and you know, maybe it's his sports history or whatever. I think they did mention that he played basketball once before, but um, other than that, I would say he's not that mobile type, which is fine. Um, the offense is, you know, what I'm saying it's really kind of worked for like a pass first, um, uh, for a pass first quarterback. So I think if they put him in those situations to be successful, um, they should have no problem. You know what I'm saying? Now, the timing and stuff might be an issue, but again, just call plays that he's comfortable with um, as far as, like, executing, and he should be fine. Uh, number two, take away Henry and Hopkins. So every year I come in here on this particular game, on this episode, and it's always take away Dag Henry, Dag Henry, Dag Henry. Well, now they got DeAndre Hopkins. So, you know what I'm saying? Find ways to just make both of those guys ineffective. Um, Levis has good chemistry with Hopkins, as I mentioned before. Um, he first came in, yeah, when he made his first start, um, he gave Hopkins one of his best games of the year. Four catches, 128 yards, three touchdowns. Um, Derrick Henry, he's still cold. <laughs> um, third in the league in rushing right now. Um, so he's still nice. He's still big as hell. So... <laughs> Um, definitely, um, whenever he gets the ball, you'll have to, um, go after him. I think they have a backup running back as well. Um, Spears, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but definitely Henry is still nice. Still the focus, focal point, still like one of the best players on that offense. It could be going to Hopkins and right now it could be going to Levis. Um, so I was like the best player, but, um, definitely take away those options, make those guys ineffective as much as possible. And the last, <coughs> excuse me, third and final thing, play like you have nothing to lose at all. Play like you have nothing to lose. And the Titans, they're going to play like that because they see this as a rivalry game. They see this as knocking the Texans out of the playoff hunt and sending them home. They, the Titans probably see this as their playoff game, as their Super Bowl. If they can knock the Texans off of their um a potential playoff path. You know what I'm saying? So 
Um, I would say with the Texans, we have to flip it around on them. And we have to play like we have nothing to lose. Because I don't think a lot of people are expecting us to win this game, especially when we're missing, you know, one of our – we were already missing one of our dynamic playmakers in Tank Dell. Now we're going to be missing our best defensive player in Will Anderson. Now we're going to be missing – our starting quarterback and CJ Stroud, who's also an MVP candidate. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're gonna be missing Blake Cashman, you know what I'm saying? Like Tavier Thomas. We're gonna be missing a lot of important pieces, you know what I'm saying, to this on both sides of the football. And so I don't think a lot of people are gonna have high hopes on us uh to go in here and be the team that's coming off a historic uh comeback win, you know, from the other from Monday less than a week ago, you know what I'm saying, so, um, we have to go in here, and we have to play like, they don't believe in us, whatever, we believe in us, we just gonna lay it out on the line, and that's just how it gotta be, play like, put the mindset like, you have nothing to lose, even though you have a lot to lose, but just act like you have nothing to lose after this game, you know what I'm saying, that you just give it your all, and you just smack the Titans in the mouth, because really, that's what this rivalry is about, just Regardless of the records, just going in there and just playing your heart out, you know what I'm saying, until the very end. So, um, that's all I got for y'all this week. Um, so, yeah, those three things. Don't be afraid to use Davis Mills. Put him in a position uh, to be successful with his skill set, uh, which is similar to C.J. Strouds. But, yes, make sure he's in that position to um, be successful. Um, take away Derrick Henry and DeAndre Hopkins, make sure they are both um, ineffective um, in this game, either one or the other. Um, so um, definitely um, take take away those options for them. Um, and just play like you have, third and final thing, play like you have nothing to lose because you don't. You have nothing to lose. They don't. This, nobody believes that the Texans are going to go on the road with a backup quarterback and beat the Tennessee Titans. They don't. Simple as that. So you have to go out there and just play play your hearts out, play your, play your minds out, all that good stuff. So that's all I got for y'all this week. I'm Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're liking this on Facebook, my Facebook page is facebook.com slash Brandon blog. Uh, like my page. That's it. I'm Brandon Simmons from BrandonSimmons.biz. Holla black.